Hey folks, Sylvia's here. Um, so finishing up with the Sands of Manchantern quest, I'm now in the harbor to do a series of quests in the like Codex War, as it's called. Um, this one's called Grim and Barrett, I believe. Pest and vermin, who knew that Stormreach was overrun with these blasted devils? Worse than bedbugs they are. You there, you look like you know how to handle pests. Devils have overrun our hostel, and we need someone to sweep them away. They're after our planner owl. No doubt. For all the good it will do them. Um, I have a couple of details I'd like to know first. Like, who you are and what you're doing here. Well, I'm a gatekeeper. We protect Eberron from extra planner threats and have done since the days of the greater, the great Delkir invasion. Corvair is our home, but lately more of us have been traveling here to Zendrick. You've been stirring up all kinds of planner trouble down here. That's why we built the Gatekeeper's Hostel. It's a place for our order to rest and recoup while we're here in Stormreach. And the Planner Owl the Devils are after? An ancient relic of the Delkir invasion. The Planner Owl can punch a hole through the plains like a nail through wood. There's just one small catch. The Planner Holes made by the Owl close as soon as they're made. The device is useless unless you have some way to keep the holes it makes open. I don't know what the Devils expect to do with it. Thanks for the info. Where do the Devils go? The Devils burst into the Gatekeeper's Hostel. And they may still be there, but I fear they have already made their way to our sacred glade. I shudder to think what they'll do to it. My fellow gatekeepers, Barrett, Grimm, and the rest will help you if they can. No gatekeeper can abide a devil. I'll deal with the devils. Before I go in there, I'm going to actually make sure I have a uh, hireling. Good, I have a hireling. Check that out. So yeah, these quests are level 14 quests. Um, I'll be going in on Elite, which again, makes them level 16. Um, they're actually, like, exceptionally hard on Elite. <laughs> um... There's a lot of, a lot of Abashai, Abashai, something like that, um, and the problem with those guys is they all have, like, a, they have, they're all, like, elementally aligned, right? So they all, like, shoot fireballs, shoot lightning bolts, or shoot acid balls, um, and they just do an enormous amount of damage. Uh, and you'll find them in, like, huge groups of, like, six or seven or something like that, and they'll all just come at you at once, so you definitely want fire resistance. For this, you're definitely going to want electricity resistance, and you're definitely going to want acid resistance. Aratraco stands before you. Too late, mortals. The planar ore is already mine. I'll leave my minions to deal with you and what remains of those meddlesome gatekeepers. I appreciate that it went straight towards my highlight. Yep. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, this quest is just uh, exceptionally hard. Like, they just do absurd damage, and they just swarm you. This is actually, uh, I would say this is, like, some pretty poor game design, actually, on um, Turbine's part. Like, these guys... All these quests in this chain are just going to be, like, walk down hallway, find massive group of enemies that will all swarm you at once, rinse and repeat over and over again. And I, that was definitely not the right button. Also, I think I have a new spell, which I want to start casting. Yeah, Holy Sword. What's that do? While you're enchanted with Holy Sword, any weapon in your hand gains plus one to their enchantment bonus and plus one... Where'd it go? Plus one confidence bonus to critical threat range and critical damage multiplier. Uh, so that should be making my weapon... Yeah, I crit... Well, I already have improved critical, which was giving me what? Yeah. So it's not showing me the times three there, but uh, I should be critting 16 to 20 on a times, times three, if I'm reading that correctly. There we go. So yeah, I'm not a, like, big fan of these quests at all. They're just, like, walk down hall, fight huge group of powerful enemies. I did not realize my hireling was on follow, which means he's gonna just stand there and explode. Good. <laughs> yeah. That was kind of awesome. Alright. Let's, let's res the idiot again. Okay, so resing him puts him on follow. That's that's good to know. Because, you know, he's an idiot. Can I get a heal, though? Yeah, 
Yeah, see, like, it's just... <laughs> Boom! It takes super damage. I gotta keep these guys, like, far enough away that he's not getting caught up in the blasts. I did this quest, um, when I was a monk on Sylvius, and I hated it, and I did this quest on my, um, my warlock, and even as a warlock, I hated these quests. They're just not fun. Like, these are some really poor game design. Also, just on a side note, the, um, the blue dudes, the blue Abashai, they do the thing that, um, Really? The door's locked? Oh. Yeah, there you go. I see, I thought I had killed him. They do the thing that um, Ogre Mages do, where they uh, turn invisible when they're at low HP, and then, like, wait to regen fully. Which is, like, a cool idea, mechanic-wise. Um, but gameplay-wise, what it means is you kill all but two dudes that turn invisible, and then you're just standing there waiting for them to heal themselves while being unable to progress. It quickly becomes not fun. Yeah, like this is definitely um, some of the poor game design, I have to say. Like these are not enjoyable quests to me. Uh, yeah, they're just not enjoyable quests to me. I don't know. I know this is like a module that you have to pay for. So, I mean, if it were me, I would definitely not pay for this. A thunderous roar can be heard down the hallway below. I don't think there's anybody in this these rooms. Yeah. There's actually nothing at all in these rooms. Doo -doo. Oh, look! It's a horde of Abishai! Who would have thought? And like even as a monk with evasion, the uh, the DC on their like attacks are relatively high. So even with like a huge reflex save, I was still gonna get. It's just it's not a fun quest. Can I get a heal? Like I'm standing there with 44% of my HP. Thank you. An Orthon guards a cage containing a large dire bear. Oh, my trip attempt didn't work. This guy's got, uh, some HP. Trip? No luck on the trip. Might as well smite him again. Wow, 532. So on a side note, uh, this holy sword spell that I picked up is amazing. Like, 232. 313. I think my smite also increases my critical. You can now open the cell doors. An improved smite that adds plus one to your weapon's critical damage and multiplier. Yeah, can't complain. Open up that. Talk to the bear. Ah, uh, thank you for freeing me from that awful creature. My name is Barrett. So very happy to meet you. I would have attempted to escape, but they're holding more of my brethren captive. What happened to the gatekeepers here? The f foul creature and his minions overwhelmed us. Worse yet, the devils have begun some sort of ritual that is corrupting our lovely glade. Have you seen it? It's not far. What can the I do to help? Bear nods and says, One last thing. I can open any of the sealed gatekeeper doors you might encounter. Just ask. And I will come. Could you seek out and or dispatch the unholy cleric who is corrupting our glade? And perhaps you could find my friends Grim and Wolf as well. I fear that, to think what the devils have done to them. Alright. I do not believe there's anything really here. Yeah, this is just a pointless room. And also, I believe over here is... Nothing? Sure. We'll just roll with that. I don't care. My hiring is really lacking on a SP. Oh look. 
More of them. Yay. Yep. They just do so much damage. It's nice that I have, like, a massive amount of HP, because I don't know what I would do without having a massive amount of HP. This so. door bears an ancient inscription. A hum of powerful magic pulses inside it. Can I get the heal over this? This door appears to be both physically and magically sealed. The wood appears to be magically strengthened and is impervious to blows. Barrett, I could use some help opening this door. There's Barrett. Need to get some running room. Thanks My portal. Barrett, you can now pass through the ruined door. The bear turns to speak to you. Let me know if I can be of any additional assistance. We are going to probably end up using that um, rest shrine, but before that. As you enter the alleyway, you spot cultists guarding the gatekeeper's grave. Yay, cultists! Like high HP, relatively hard hitting enemies. Woo! Yeah, that's the other uh, kind of complaint I have with the, these quests is um, they definitely made the enemies have like just regular enemies have enormous amounts of HP for, as far as I can tell, no, like, real logical reason. People are like, this game has gotten too easy with, you know, way so, like, huge amounts of, like, really synergistic equipment and, you know, changes to the, uh, the class, like, enhancement lines and stuff like that. So the developers were like, alright, I mean, we guess we should make the game a little bit more challenging. And their way of doing that was just give everything a million HP. I appreciate that my hireling has just been standing there. <laughs> like, I told him to follow me, and he just stood there. Made no effort to approach. Uh, I can't remember if it's Grim or Wolf. I think it's Wolf that's down that hallway. But we're gonna be fully healed before we do that, because there's also a whole bunch of traps down that hallway. Yeah, I'm not trying to use the rest shrine. I hope my hireling is not trying to use the rest shrine. Because I'd be, like, moderately irritated if my hireling decided that while I'm, you know, surrounded by enemies, he should be taking a nap. Yeah, like, so much HP on everybody. For no good reason! Yeah, just all in all, like, a really disappointing, uh, series of quests. I haven't tried any of the legendary stuff yet, for, like, obvious reasons, but I'm not confident that's not going to also suck. Yeah, I don't want you to use the rest shrine. So, yeah, he's down there, I believe, behind that box. In fact, I'm actually going to break these boxes with range attacks first. Grim. There we go. Uh, Grim himself, there's not a trap where he's at, but the rest of the hallway has traps. Um... Which actually makes it a good idea to break those boxes first, because that way you can run in a straight line. Oh god. Grim, gatekeeper. I see you found my hidey hole. I guess this is it. I couldn't hide forever. Barrett sent me to check on you. Oh, finally some good news. This has been the worst day. I should check on our uh, out. I should check on our rescues down near the cage. Grim smiles and says. Thank you for helping me and my brethren. So, not a bad, uh... amount of EXP that was. Alright, I'm going to do that. Have my hireling cast a heal on me, unless he can't. Yeah, he can't. He can't do anything. Alright. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll heal myself. Might as well, like, use up all my mana. 
There we go. Eh, one more. There we go. I should be able to get um, 20 HP back by resting. I'll have my Harling do it too. Also, just on a side note, I'm I'm kind of at the point where all of the available quests to me at this point now are um, part of like chains. There's very few just like one-off quests where I can just be like, hey, I'm doing quest ABC. Now it's like, oh, I'm doing the three quests in this chain. Or four, I honestly can't remember how many chests are in this point. Chests. Quests are in this chain. I'm going to actually do this this way. Yeah, that Holy Sword spell has a long enough um, duration that I don't think I need it to be on my, like, active hotbar. Might as well cast uh, Angel's Skin too while we're at it. Yeah, but that Holy uh, Sword spell is, like, amazing. But look, more of them that I'm going to end up pulling on me. They all have so much HP. And they're just people wearing clothes and like hitting me with farming tools. Like, how is an average dude having. How much HP does she have? Yeah, she has 1,478 HP. How is that possible? That guy's got 1,884. Can I get a heal? No? Just gonna stay in there? Oh, good. Yeah, like, really? These farmer cultists have, like, three times as much HP as the paladin fighter with a constitution score of 38? Really? Kind of invalidates my existence a little bit. Yeah, like I said, I just I do not enjoy these quests. They're also very, very straightforward. Like, just go down, smash enemy, can repeat. I mean, not that like, not that there's much more. Um, Diversity. I God pushed the wrong button again. Yeah. Not that there's much other like diversity in this game. You know. I mean, there's traps and things like that, but like this is just a very linear like go straight down these hallways, kill all these enemies that we put there kind of quest. All these enemies that have enormous amounts of HP too. I wish I knew how much uh, this dude had. Do. Look, like, she's hitting me for 10 damage by whacking me with a bone arrow. It's Wolf. Stand back or I'll tear your throat out. Barrett sent me. I think you have the situation in hand, but Wolf I think you have the situation. snarls at his prisoner. So right there, that's a pretty easy, easy like, series of optionals for an easy 2k, basically. As you enter the Oops. gatekeeper's stronghold, you spy a second gatekeeper portal in the corridor ahead. Baird, if you wouldn't mind. I'd like to know how he got down that, like, ramp. Like, As whatever. splinters of the shattered door drift down around you, the dire bear nods of the corridor ahead. The gatekeeper's glade is this way. It is protected by a large stone. That is definitely not what I wanted my heart to On so many levels, is that not what I wanted my heart to <sighs> I really hate these quests. I could, like, in theory, 
of course, um, put, like, the resistances on him. The problem is that, like, he shouldn't be taking the damage in the first place. And even if I give him 30 points of fire resistance or something like that, he's still probably just going to end up dead. Wow, look, I didn't make my save against that one. Solid 135 damage. Or 134, I think it was. Whee! Huge amounts of damage. Run away! Have I died yet in this quest? I don't think I died. Harling, just keep me alive. Don't get close to him. Don't do anything else. Don't waste your mana trying to attack them with spells. Just let me smack him with a sword. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to break these barrels. Oh yeah, I broke all the barrels at once. Did I get Ransack. And I'm almost at, um... I'm already at Onslaught. I'm almost at Conquest. Another set of shrines. I think, yeah, we just have the boss at this point. I'm just gonna go all out in this fight. Actually, I had quite the, uh, the difficulty with the boss, too, the first time I did this quest. Again, I was the monk back then, and it's, like, shocking how bad monks are. I might as well have my hireling. Yeah, I'm actually gonna buff my hireling before I do anything. Can you get me a heal? There we go. Now use the rest shrine, you moron. Yeah, I'm going to, like, actually throw buffs down on my hireling uh, before I go into the boss. So, I'll let him rest, get his mana back, I'll buff him, and then I'll rest. <sighs> the stupid idiot. Fire. Energy. Resist acid. Alright, and that's all the buffs I'm capable of casting if I... Yeah. The other ones are short term, so... That's what I'm not in it, though. Unless for restoration is probably a good option, too. Divine favor. Yeah. Paladins have some really cool spells and also some really pointless spells. Resist fire. Holy sword. Resist electricity. And then resist acid. Oh, was I just still casting them on him? Oh, Jesus, God. <laughs> uh, that, I mean, that's kind of awesome in its own special way. The stone door rolls open to reveal a hidden glade in the very heart of the city. The oh boy. path along the cliff wall leads to a ridge above, where the cleric's rich... Didn't realize that one of those was a uh, champion. Wasting one of my, um, whatchamacallit's already is not great. I, uh, lay on hands. What's this? Save debuff. My saves are reduced. Good. Oh, God. Now I got another champion on me. Great. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, that one. Yeah, I guess that's the other issue I have with these quests, too, is that the Ab Abashai are already, like, stupidly overpowered in the offensive sense. Um, and then, yeah, the champion ones are just, like, a million times worse. Also, I mean, there being three of them right there in that tiny room was kind of awesome. Alright, 
And then the boss should just be up here. The yeah. cleric turns towards you, livid with rage. How dare you! This soul belongs to Eratracos now! I shall crush you for your impudence! Dude, am I hiring seriously for no reason just walk into a uh, blade barrier? The cleric defiantly shouts, Rise and defend me! So he does make these plants come to life. Uh... You can't target the plants, so I'm not really sure what they are. Like, you can kill them, you just can't target them. I don't know if they're evil, I don't know anything about them. The cleric falls, ending the ritual well, that wasn't too bad. Cyber's yeah. Dragon Shard Fragment, that's kind of cool. Those are kind of worth it. And then, named item. Docent of Insight. This serves me zero purpose, which is cool, but... <laughs> yeah, it serves me zero purpose, but this is kind of cool. What do we got here? Five enchantment bonus. Uh, insightful intelligence. This item focuses the power of the wearer's mind, granting a two insight bonus to intel. Quality of this item surrounds the wearer with invisible but tangible field of force, granting two armor bonus to AC, just as though he were wearing armor. That's interesting. Um, insightful Wizardry, 25 Insight bonus to spell points, Insightful Potency, Insight bonus to each spell power. A green Augment slot is kind of nice to have. Um, put like Death Block, or, um, no, not Death Block, but you could put like, um, a defense, like, physical resistance boost one into that, or, um, Heavy Fort. And Mythic Armor boost too. Mythic bonus to the targets, physical and magical. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, not great for my particular character, obviously, but not bad. So yeah, a relatively difficult quest, a, I mean, an okay, I guess, amount of EXP. Um, took me 24 minutes and one second, so relatively long, and only one chest, effectively. Unless the other dude always gave that chest, I couldn't tell because he was a champion. What a mess those devils made. And what they did to the glade, well, now we'll recover, we always have. Thanks for taking care of them. Barrett and the others asked me to give you this. What do we got? Junk. 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 Vorpal Cold Iron Light Hammer of Bludgeoning. Wow, I mean, alright, that's kind of good. That's, yeah, that's not bad. Chilled Kinetic Lore. Junk. Junk. Junk, junk, yeah. All right, we're gonna take the uh, Vorpal Cold thing. All right, folks, that's it for me. Um, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Check me out on Patreon, Twitter, Facebook. I will see you guys later.